You know, when the pandemic first started, it was hard to envision that we'd still be dealing with restrictions seven months later, right? With the months dragging on, we're starting to see something referred to as COVID fatigue as people get tired of the restrictions and want to see more tangible progress. Virginia Tech professor Dr. Charles Calderwood says we're starting to see people easing up on some of the safety measures they once took. Calderwood told News 3's Erica Greenway he sees a lot of similarities with this situation and workplace burnout. You're really talking about this chronic feeling that sets in, that you're just sort of emotionally drained from dealing with your work. You feel like you can't accomplish the activities of your work, uh, and you feel maybe not as connected to other people as a consequence that you work with. I think we're seeing the same thing settle in to some degree here, where we've been dealing with the pandemic for quite some time now. Uh, we all feel really emotionally drained. We're not getting to have our normal social interactions and connections with other individuals. And I think that that contributes to us feeling like we can't accomplish the day-to-day the -day goals when, when we can. Dr. Calderwood says that there are ways to fight back against COVID fatigue psychologically and physically. One of those, prioritize yourself. It may be tough to relax right now, but he says it's so important to find the time. He can also, it can also help to find tangible ways to help other people. And don't overlook the importance of eating healthy and getting a little bit of exercise. Calderwood says those basic things are surprisingly effective at making you feel better.